Hey guys, in this video I will be taking another look at the Raspberry Pi uh, based on a user request. So in this video I will basically be downloading and installing Minecraft Pi Edition and hopefully I will be able to get it working. So let me just mount my camera here and show you how to install it. So as you should be able to see I am currently on this website pi.minecraft.net Minecraft Pi Edition. Um, so basically you need the Raspberry and Reezy um, operating system running on your Raspberry Pi in order to download and install this. And you also need for X Windows to be running which is basically this um, desktop environment we are in now, the graphical user interface. Um, and in order to install it you basically need to download the file from here. And once you have downloaded it, you need to open up a terminal. Uh, let me go and find it. Uh, here it is, LX Terminal. I've already downloaded that file to my desktop. Um, and you will probably need to change the directory of the command prompt to where the um, file is located. So let me um, find a file manager. And in my case, the tar.gz file is on the desktop. So I just need to copy this. And to change the directory, you just type in cd, which means change directory space. And I should be able to paste in the correct directory. See, now I am in the desktop directory. And then in order to decompress it, let's see if I can get away with copying and pasting this without having to type it in. I will right click and paste this and hopefully it will work and now it's extracting everything and it looks like that um, it looks like that was successful now change directory um, mcpi let's just paste that and it's changed and now this should run minecraft And one second, command not found. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. Uh, let me just go back to the desktop for a second, or the file manager will probably be better. So see, see here we have the folder, desktop mcpi. Um, and do we have minecraft-pi? Uh, yes, we do. Maybe if I just click execute from there. Ah, uh, yeah, that worked. Um, so yeah, this is basically Minecraft. Let's just get everything else out of the way here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's possible to... Ah, uh, yep, is that full screen? It all looks a little bit messed up, but this is only an alpha build. And it looks to be lagging a little bit, to be honest. See, it is lagging a bit. Well, it keeps um, switching back to the desktop and between the apps, so maybe I need to get it out of full screen mode. So as you can see, it is pretty buggy. So yeah, it's better to just keep it in this smaller mode here, and it seems to be working better in this smaller mode. Now let's go to Start Game, Create World. Um, I'm not sure if there was any sound, though I don't have any speakers plugged into my Raspberry Pi, so it wouldn't work anyhow. I can check using my earphones, so though there's no point really. So it isn't going to be super fast running on this device, so the fact that it can run it in the first place is pretty cool. Let's see if we can see it in action. It's currently generating the world now. And yeah, it appears to be working. That's pretty cool. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video really, I just wanted to basically show you how to um, install it, and I basically wanted to show you the game in action running on the Raspberry Pi, um, though yeah, this is actually pretty neat, you know, the Raspberry Pi isn't the most powerful device out there, though it is, you know, obviously powerful enough to um, run Minecraft, which is good.
but yeah, if you have a Raspberry Pi, then I highly recommend checking out checking it out. And if you don't, then you can just go and play Minecraft on your normal computer anyhow, which you will probably want to do after watching this video. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.